let me show you a really cool invention that I've seen. Uh, it's a way of marking cards just as you're playing a game, and it gives you a real advantage if you're playing poker for money or anything like that. Now, there's all sorts of organizations that wouldn't want me revealing how this works. Uh, gambling places, casinos, the magic circle, all that kind of thing. So I'm going to use a loophole. I'm not going to show you how to do it with normal cards. I'm going to show you how to do it with just this bunch of jokers. And uh, why would anyone be interested in just marking some jokers? Well, that will be the loophole. Uh, so you can see that these four jokers uh, don't have any sort of distinguishable marks on them just yet. But here's the system. If you take the two of them and rub them, it's the friction that will then change the colour of the backs. And then you can tell one card from the other because they look totally different. The cool thing is it just affects the back, so the faces are completely unharmed. Uh, let me show you that again. Uh, we'll take another joker here and we'll slip it between the other two. If you just generate a bit of friction like that, then we should find that that card also becomes marked. That's perfect. Again, it's nothing, doesn't do anything to the faces, which is really, really good. It's just the backs that are affected. Uh, let's try another one. We've got another joker here. We'll just push it through the cards, give it a bit of friction. And that one also changes, which means we've now got two blue and one red. So we're three down with one to go. Uh, so let's get rid of that one. And uh, this time we'll make it so that you do it. So I'm going to leave the card down there, uh, maybe on a spectator's hand or something like that. And I'm not even going to touch it so you know it's not me. I'm gonna, just going to use this joker as a little scoop. And what I want you to do is to just rub your hands together to generate some friction. And when you generate the friction, you'll find that that is what marks the cards completely flawlessly. And now you've got the skill, you can go forward and make a fortune at cards. Just cut me in for showing you the technique. And that was Peter Kane's Court Justice. <laughs>